It's time for a cold snap. Happy Thursday, everyone, and welcome to Thungry Thursday. Beer of the week, and today I'm trying Samuel Adams Cold Snap. And as you guys know, Thungry Thursday Beer of the Week works this way. I try three beers out of this six pack here. The first beer is my initial impressions of the drink. The second beer here is a full on chugger. I will let you guys know how fast this stuff goes down in a scale of one to five. And finally, I'll finish it off with the third one being the Reflections beer. Anyways, getting started here, popping the top, what really drew my eyes to this box right here was this amazing owl artwork. Just look at the snowy mountains and the goggles of the owl. Very, very cool, very, very majestic animal. First thing I'm getting is a very hoppy smell to it. It's got a very warm-ish taste to it. Very interesting taste. I can't say that I have tasted this before from any of the other Samuel Adams. Let's find out a little more about it. So, Samuel Adams was a bold and determined rebel. He masterminded the Boston Tea Party and was among the first patriots to call for American independence. He united our colony in rebellion against the British Empire in pursuit of the American dream. We proudly name our beer after this hero. That doesn't tell me anything about the beer. Is there anything on here that will tell me about the beer? Hmm. No, there isn't. That's one thing that I've noticed recently with Samuel Adams' things is they... Stopped removing their big description that they used to put on the neck of the bottle. I'm going to take a peek at the bottom of the box here, see if it says anything. Well, it says uh, typical stuff that a Samuel Adams box says on the bottom, but it doesn't say anything about the beer here. So, this is a seasonal white ale with spices, seasonal brew, limited release. That means pick it up sooner rather than later, especially considering we're at the end of January right now, about to be in February, so I'm sure that these springtime beers are going to be hitting the shelves anytime soon. But for the time being, I'm just trying this right now. It says white ale brewed with spices and spices added. So they could basically just save a line of text by saying white ale brewed with a bunch of spices. Other initial impressions of this drink. It's not... It's not too overly hoppy. It's not similar to an IPA. This right here is a white ale. And a couple weeks back, I checked out another white ale, though this one is not as white as that one is. I'll put the link up here if you guys want to check that video out. Very, very different. I don't know what constitutes a white ale, if that's a specific type of hops or something like that, or just because of the lightness of it. But either way, this one is pretty tasty. And from what I can see, through the beer, granted it is not as clear as some other beers, it looks pretty clear. I don't see anything floating in there. But back to this box here, it's a really cool design of the owl. I just like the different shades of blue, the shades of gray that the feathers incorporate on the owl. Everything down to the glasses. I mean, look at those little pine trees sketched in the background of the glasses. They are sitting on a branch. You can see his talons and everything like that. But Overall, very, very impressive box. So that was the thing that caught my attention to it was that owl right there. And as I'm just about, now I am finished with the very first beer. Overall, the initial impressions are impressive. So we get ready here, pop the top to the second one, which is the full on chugger if I can get it. There we go. I like the shield logo. I think it ties in very nicely to this white, blue, dark blue, light blue, colored box, colored scheme that they have going on here. I do like the, I, I'm going to say this is like that Russian fist with the scythe that is sticking up the kind of brewer's fist, except that is a glass of beer in the middle of the nautical star there on the cap. Anyways, enough talking. Moving on to the second beer here, which is the full-on chugger. I will let you guys know how fast this goes on on a scale of 1 to 5, where 1 is not really chuggable and 5 is extremely chuggable. First off, this is 12 fluid ounces like most beers are, 5.3% alcohol by volume, and consists of 10 IBUs. Never had this one before, 
Anyways, here goes the chugger, going down the hatch in three, two, one. First sips down a good third of the way, with a, third, a good third of the way. They are very, very tasty. The second sip is down. It is a little bubbly. It's not too overly carbonated there. See them about, I'd say a good halfway through the bottle. Very, very tasty here. I love that owl. I'm, I think I'm definitely going to cut out this box here and try to save Mr. Owl there. Put him somewhere. One sip left. A little, couple little bubbles at the top. One more breath. And that is it. The chugger is down the hatch. Overall, we're going to give this beer a four on the scale of chuggability. Very, very chuggable. Very, very tasty, light, refreshing beer. That brings us on to the third one. Finally, the Reflections beer. First thing I do have to reflect on is, I know I mentioned this in a couple episodes before about the color scheming that they have on the bottle cap, but I just really think that the whole bottle cap is tied into the experience of the artwork on the bottle, to the, the label on the bottle. So just altering the colors a little bit for each company really does bring out whatever they are trying to showcase there, considering that is really the first thing that you see right when you open the beer, right when you go to look down the glass stout, look down the glass neck, whatever you want to call it, that's the first thing that you see, other than the label or the box that you pick it up, but you see the bottle cap. So anyways, moving on here, I do not remember seeing this thing before. Independent Craft Brewer Association certified, it's this little thing that is right up there. I don't recall seeing that before in their beers. I could be wrong or they could have just redesigned their logo and maybe it was on there before in some other form. <sighs> other reflections, I really do wish that they gave the title, the description of the beer. I know a bunch of the Samuel Adams in the past did. They explained what the beer was, what it was made from, what their kind of little idea behind the beer was, their whole gracious, God-inspired moment, I guess, to create that beer. You guys know I'm a big fan of that, the whole backstory behind a beer. And even if they didn't want to put it on here, you know, save the cost on printing, they could have just thrown it in some little spot on the bottom, which they did not. Looking around the box, though, giving one more good look, I noticed that the owl, I think, is the same exact owl on both the side in the front or the back, side in the back, side in the front. Doesn't matter either way. I think it's the same owl. He's a cool owl nonetheless. Now time for some numbers here. This six pack was $9.50 being Samuel Adams based out of Boston, Massachusetts. That makes it a semi-local beer for me. So on a scale of one to 10, how likely am I to pick this up where one is I wish this was never ever on the shelves to begin with and 10 is every time I want to get a beer. This is the beer that I'm going to get. We're going to give these guys the full on 10 for this beer right here. I really enjoy this. I, Like I said, I don't really know what's in it other than white ale brewed with spices and spices added. But whatever they did to brew this, it is very tasty nonetheless. It is very light, very refreshing. That brings me on to... Would I recommend this beer to you? So on a scale of one to five of recommendability, where one is not recommendable, five is highly recommendable, recom highly recommendable based on everything that I told you up to this point in time, including price and my own opinion. I'm going to give this a five. I would highly recommend you guys picking this up. If this is in a store somewhere near you, I would pick it up before it has disappeared. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you have a suggestion for a future Thungry Thursday Beer of the Week episode, leave it down below in the comment section. I'll see everybody tomorrow for Free For All Friday. Peace.